Joseph, Bani Joseph Kurundo, Isti Muskoka, Spatskuzi Magi Daya, Madundo, I fear no Yaga Hudson, a Zakat, as all of the doing, Mondo no stress, Wasada Girondo, and Miko Yangi, Bobby Argument, and Miko Rodi. Again, open it to Yangi, Miko Azin. Ojia Bobo Miko, George Thompson, Dibagi, Ada, uh, New York, Inina, Omalgia, Idokalegi, Hasho Salija Mahoka, Mohachan, Abi Yadi, and Abi Joimas. Ahogi, Abi Yadi, and Idim Bonaho in Fulin, Mezo Lexi, Shimadoka again, Uji Miko, Yama, and Amog Legi. Ma abia jimbona ho join. Hanyumi alagisa chimagiseska tui chin haptoa keze na gisejo to black to one tui da gisecha keze. Ojimi kudoga hanyumi igana iluji lega. Maduha ko kisishkun jeki yeschi igana pumisha paridon managise zedon do market. I am so lazy, my so lazy. Ojimi Kodoga, and you me, O Mr. Gi, the Mahi Yanapoli, a bode, she had leg at Hong Kong, is his good, a gift is the bit. Ada had a bodo hobby monk, do we for lavadi, or now we do what he don't do for argument. Had the Miko Azule Hojiko monk, Miko Azule Ambona, I did not do for argument. Ambona Doga. Ma in Miko Azulagi Hula, the Mo Lehosa to stairs Mo Napona Hoy. Our child is doing Mo Nado Gadi in Hanyumi Hillis with a stilai Akoban in full lead, Shin Head is in Boski fully added on Dorf Market. Mondo and Solidaro had the age of Mongin Omalgia, Idoka, Pokichi. I have bought a tin to be the tin home with fully at the door of our basket on our artist with it fully at the door. I don't know. So it our yesterday. People do for what they don't do. My adoko key a people at the mother for a what they don't do as you had the Ibodo Hoki go Moko. But on our way to do what they don't do for arguments. More of that, so it our yet that we don't know what's key. Chibana Ozaki to stress. He leans out to it. He took Taksabala, Igasato Gavaki, Hachiwaka, Akabaladaki, Chibana Ozi Mao, Igashi Tapsaki, Ozagidon, Ostadiga to stay still on our ways and to Hachi, Lega, Umalka, Akbaladaki, Sahan of Sahaniga, Maduizi, Mita Halidondo, Oktagi Mao, Madamoi, Solidaura, Mita. Lioa, Chine Zaga, Saki Saga, Madu Stes, Ido de Sasoga Bagit, Basadaki, Yedawa Lega, Sahana Sahaniga, Market, Mui Pumizagin, Adibo Dunduation, Sulgibido, Inkos Discodai, Market, Nakmoaka, Punaitin, Mago Hesto Legamats, Ujimikoda, Hubayin, Ujifkoda, Imhoyen, Hubayi. Asho salija kujika lehoja dead hanyu ata hila kisi mahe kudui we di tunduwe shin kujika da kusha mikot ma kujika da ndo kujimiko dashi ge kujika maho ba madundo choko lako lega di hachi kusha kujika lega di ndo ma madigin kujia boho da lega di dui ma de so hako kisi iskon miko da mana kujika wa di ndo Nak mau aku sih, aku nak mauin. Aku nak itu sangki, hidup kalki, mauin hasil selesa, hidup kalki, abih ia di dondo. Dan hanya aku pun ada saja, ia itu dua, ini mana aku isi, ini mesti lagi. Hanya aku abah, aku nak sih, kerja kita yang abah, abah tu. Nak, orang aku sih mahu kita ya, aku jauh aku setuju dua sih, mahu aku sih cuma nak yang lain, anki sah sih. Ayo, tihe ti kuna kan, stimo yari ka kaay. Years ago, me 
and D'Amico of Alabama, Kwasadi, Bobby Argy, D'Amico of Uziabova, George Thompson, and D'Hiniha from New York, uh, Pee Wee Cloud. Uh, we went to Georgia and uh, there was a reason that we all went down there was because some of our people kept going back down there and they wanted to know why. So we went down there and the reason I tell this story is because we are in the close proximity of Ujibwa and the man that I stayed close to and talked to was George Thompson and he was the Miko over there and uh, or is the Miko over there and as we was going down there after we got off the plane, we had the car we was driving down there. There was these large trees all over the place on the route down there. And uh, I seen Oji Miko sitting there thinking. So I asked him what he was thinking about. And he said all he could think about is his people. How, um, how beautiful this land was and how nice it would have been if they were still there. And he said, I see why the Stihetki people wanted this land. And uh, as we got closer and we got there to where they called the Horseshoe Bend Park area, there was these, all these big trees and stuff. And uh, he was standing right here, we was talking, and he said, I can imagine that some of our camps were right here. He said, some of my members' camps were over here. He said, all these people, all of my people were running around laughing and joking and telling stories and were there for our ceremonies and stuff and we all camped there and stayed there because we all stayed around our ceremonial grounds with Kujiaboha. And uh, he said that everybody talks about the removal of the Muscogee people that came to Oklahoma. He said, but nobody talks about what happened before or what happened just before the removal. And uh, I guess, you know, before a Miko is put on there or is picked out to be the Miko, the old Miko will tell him a story about the people. And so the Miko before him, they told him stories. So that story was handed down from generation to generation, not generation, but from Miko to Miko. And so. When me and Uti Miko was talking, we estimate probably about four Mikos ago was when the removal was going on. And uh, I knew the Miko before uh, George Thompson, and he was good friends with my dad, And but I never got to talk to him because as a Dimanipte, as a young person, we didn't hardly talk to old people. They said, Tsayagata Zen Asin, go on, go play someplace because we had to respect our elders, so we stayed away from them. And, uh, but when I was with George, he was uh, telling me these stories, and he said, just before they uh, removed us, I guess some of the stories, they said, you know, like when it's time to eat, they would say, Hombox, Punaya, Weki Hombox. We're talking and eat. Hurry up and eat. And sometimes they used to say, Chili Jehosti Wedges, which means they might run you off. And I never did understand that until George brought that up again. And he said, when the soldiers came, all of our people sat there, was talking and laughing and eating. And the soldiers came in and they just flipped the table over and everybody had to leave. So some of our uh, teachings, you know, not Pumahawedi, do we, Azida, how we're supposed to be and everything was taught and learned before removal. And we carry that on today. A lot of the grassroots people, they would do that. But uh, when I was speaking with George, he, uh, the Miko, he was, uh, said that, uh, and mind you, it's kind of, it's kind of sad in a way, you know, Ishtimashko uh, Galki Imaida. Imadida Imbonala Yitsidondo. The Muscogee ways of their tradition, their culture is hard. 
it's not an easy life just to must go go do ya. And you may is the fully art to stress to walk a fully art. He is still out of my hope now. He Luigi from big old or if you go. Ada does you get on what he looks with July out now. Yakus is to exhaust it from big old. On with a high hope of Tapano want to stay small. He Luigi does for it. Not this a little oil out to stay. You see don't know. Just get daddy on I do that. He led us to go not not more that. Is the years ago dead me dead to us to us me to die at the Malgia to Moscow Gulf to one year to turn to us more we go on a Zorzi to argue with a you don't do. So the Muscovy way of life is hard. It's strong, but yet it's hard. Our people in our ceremonies they fast all day. The Dushige, the warriors, they fast all day. Sometimes they don't get out till late at night. The Hombidahaya, if they have, uh, if they're like ribbon dance, some of them probably don't eat until the dance is over with. Especially if the front four or the first ones, and every ground is different. And Ujimiko, he was talking to me about that. And also some stories from my dad and the Alabama Miko all combined together. Uh, if those things, were easy, everybody would be Muscovy people. Everybody would be practicing or doing that tradition or being part of that culture. But because it's hard, our ceremonies are going down. We don't have very many left. But Ozimiko, when he was talking to me about that, we was pretty much on the ground where the old Ujiabuka was. And he said, when the soldiers came, they threw the tables over and uh, uh, people had to leave without eating. And uh, he said that time will come again, Adam Wahif. And uh, we don't, we listen to those stories, but we don't know if it will or not. Sometimes to the point after time has passed, we don't think it's going to happen. But it does happen. So when I say it was hard and it's strong and it was sad, in the pre-removal, the soldiers were told to remove these people at any cost, get them over to the Indian Territory at any cost. And so when uh, they were rounding up all the Ojibwe people, little kids, little boys about this height, the soldiers would grab their feet and slam their head against the trees. And as he was telling me that story, there was this big old huge oak tree standing there. He said, I wonder if it was only about that big at that time. He said, little boys were gathered up and they were tied up with ropes and they were thrown in that river right there. He said, it was because they wanted to save the bullets. And those little boys, like three or four of them that were tied up, they drowned in that river. Little girls were done the same way, they were killed so that Ojibwe would not exist, so that the Muscogee people would not exist, because it was termination it was to do away with the Stijai people. Those are stories that you're not going to find in history books. Those are stories that are written, or not written, but told to us to listen to and to hear from people like Ujimiko. And uh, uh, it was sad, but yet I watched it, you know, watched him tell a story as he looked around the whole place and seen how big these trees were. And when I say that Ujibova's ceremonial name is Kosha Miko, and the Miko before him was Kosha Miko, and before him was the same thing. And so when he dies, that next chief will be called Kosha Miko. Ujibova is on the Kosha River today over there in Georgia and Alabama. But that's who he was, that's how he, his name came to be. All of everybody calls him Miko, but nobody, every, you know, out of respect, we have to call our Mikos Miko. But sometimes they don't know their real name. And the reason I say that here is because I know there's a lot of Ojibwe people here. And uh, that was the story that was told to me about uh, Ojibwe and how to remove
started before the child's years. And when I was talking to her over there, how uh, the child's years had hopped in a wagon, moved them down the road, and it wasn't so. A lot of our Pomeda, Ishti, Shongato stretch, Ishti Hobil or not, and Igana Gohe, Madana Hogit or not. As you get a Mahok, Kishwani holds it on the Shika, Isho Adiki, Isho has a wonder, Hanyu is it, Motoshaya, but as you get a drunk of Spooky, as you get a drunk of Mahok under Ishti, Tolofitska Hoyaniko, Moi Hobil or not, a lucky. Skipka Airway Hoydon, Isha has a wonder of Tosaho Yondo. But of Tosaho, a hobaki Hoydondo, still we have to go for the. What I said is that when our people pass away here today, when uh, they passed away on the walk here, there was no, we did not have a funeral, we didn't dig a grave, and we didn't bury somebody. We just got a blanket and we covered them up. So on our coffin, we put a blanket on top of them. So when we bury him, the Miko would say, there's enough of us, grab dirt, put it on him, grab a handful of dirt, put it on him as you walk by. So today we say that that's a farewell handshake. So that come from the Trail of Tears. So we still, you know, even like it says up not, if we think about it real hard, some of the things that we practice today, we don't know why, but more than likely it comes from the old country. And so when I say Ishti Muskogi, he made a Yipchi Gezea. When I say that the Muskogi way is hard, the stories are hard, they're sad, but it's true. And, you know, in closing, Hanyui, Uziabuhogi Abuhakta, Chimidalwa, Hanyumi Alapaya, Madoche Bezaledo. I like to thank the Muskogi people, the Muskogi people, the Uziabuhu people of this place for let me come here to share a few words of the Ujiyapogu people's ways and again, Madhok Tiyazalaikum.